There we go. Silly phone. Yar. <laughs> hey, cyborg. How you doing? Hey, RNG. How you doing? Oh, you bugger. Hmm. Porthos has gone downstairs to sit with Slow. I'm not cool enough anymore. Hello. Seeing as we don't have a Porthos, I'm gonna fuck around with my camera. A little bit more of me, a little bit less of the background. Uh, where's the rum gone? Mm. We ain't got rum in this one. Just grog. Hey mum, how you doing? Learning how to set up Twitch Studio. Found it a lot easier to get my head around. Oh cool, Cyborg. I haven't used Twitch Studio. That's their proprietary, for want of a better description, streaming uh, platform, isn't it? Less door. There we go. That's better. Got a headache that lasted since yesterday though. Oh, RNG, that's terrible. Have you uh, taken anything for it? Are you making sure you're drinking plenty of water? I say as I drink water myself. <laughs> Don't get me started, ma'am. Mum and I were talking earlier about uh, people putting on a fake northern accent and uh, not necessarily putting the right consonants in the right place. Hello there. Hiya Buff, how you doing? Oh, I'm not too bad. I'm tired again. I didn't get to sleep straight away after the stream last night, so uh, my masterful plan to uh, actually get an early night did not work. I've decided to get the LGBT, I mean RGB lighting for my PC setup. Well played, Cyborg. Very nice. I've um, I, I've I've got the the lovely uh, rainbow fairy lights that Mum gave me. Uh, not this Christmas just gone, but the Christmas before, I think. Um, which I absolutely adore. But I would love to get um, you can get like these. Uh, smart LED strips that um, change colour depending on what's going on um, like you can hook them up to your speakers and stuff like that um, and they're, they're really cool something like that would be really rad hey Kian how you doing look behind you a three headed raccoon hey Karonix how you doing General Monkey. <laughs> yes. Awesome cyborg. Turn off what alarm? <laughs> A nice tail you have, General Monkey. Indeed. There was a phone going off? Well, it wasn't mine. Hang on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Slow's left his phone upstairs and is downstairs. Um, I can just, see, just hear it a little bit. Hey, Cass, how you doing? I'll be right back. I'm going to go and throw Slow's phone out of a window or something because he's got like 50 fucking alarms. <sighs> Be right back, folks.
saw it. Instead of throwing it out of a window, I threw it at slow. And Porthos has uh, joined me. Probably because he thinks he's going to get treats. Let's face it. E. And now I have to fuck about with the camera again. There we go. Hello there. Right. Now, let's see what's happened whilst I was talking to Slow. Was it a cute one, Karanix? Don't worry about it, Cass. Some weirdo on the internet playing video games is far less important than life. Trust me. I don't take any offence to folks not being able to turn up to stuff. You've got to put yourself first. I am a very distant fifth or eighth or whatever. <laughs> I'm fucking around on Hero Forge. Your Hero Forge stuff is always great, Kian. Okay. Am I caught up now? Oh gosh, buff. Oh, bless you, Cass. Big hugs. But you're right, um, hiding yourself away when you're struggling like that is not a good idea. There are people around you who will be happy to help and support as best we can. But remember to take time for yourself as well, because socialising can be fucking exhausting, and I get that. So just try to be kind to yourself and do things that make you happy. Took me time to realise I'm not alone. It does. It does. Even when you've got people all around you, sometimes it takes a while to realise that you're not alone. But the people that matter will be there when you need them. Okay. Oh, I bet that was lovely, Cass. I cannot for the, I should have looked at what it actually said on the load screen because I can't for the life of me remember what we need to do. Let's check. Still hoping to get off Flotsam by reversing the island's unnatural winds, Guybrush followed Hemlock's map to their source. There, Guybrush discovered none other than the Marquis de Sange, leaving from an ancient stone door, carrying the key that Guybrush needed to get inside. With the help of a tiny stunt double, Guybrush succeeded in tricking the Marquis to open the door. On the other side, he discovered the source of the winds, a giant sucking machine. Using the Marquis's key, Guybrush revealed the four stone idols around the jungle, and realised that each one must play a part in turning the winds. Okay. I remember what we're doing now. So... We need these jail carvings, but I can't remember how we get them. Awesome, Cass. So we'll go to the entrance of the jungle and we'll try and do... Because there's got to be at least one that isn't completely fucking broken for us to do. What's this? You want to cuddle, don't you? Hang on. Let me see if I can... There you go. I'll sit wonky so you can cuddle up. Is that better? Hmm? He's a big baby, isn't he? Hey, Lynn, how you doing? 
made music. Reviews have ranged from unironically well, slaps to somewhat painful to listen to. So let's just say mixed, which is good for a first attempt. Definitely lingered on you. I mean, if some people think it unironically slaps, then it must be at least decent, right? Thank you for the scritches for Porthos, Cyborg. <laughs> Trying to do this one-handed with the hand I don't normally use uh, so I can scritch him at the same time. Th th this is as close to pro gamer as I'm ever going to get. Here we go. Oh no, this is the broken one. Oh fuck, they must all be broken. Hey Podlord, how you doing? Hello there. Okay, I'm gonna stop now, P, because uh This idol looks like it's missing something. <laughs> Stretch. Good idea, ma'am. Uh, oh. Thank you very much for the stretch. Okay. Always wanted to play Monkey Island, but not good at puzzles. Um, well, if you really enjoy the idea of Monkey Island and you're not, um... Oh shit, I hit the wrong button. I keep forgetting that this one doesn't play like the others. Like, you have to hit... I, I'm, I'm using WAS and D to move, which is just bizarre for me as a point-and-click player. Um, you can sort of point-and-click, but it doesn't work particularly well. Uh, let's try that again. Uh... There. That's what I wanted to do. Um, yeah, if, if you if you want to play Monkey Island but you're not so good with the puzzles and you're not averse to the idea, you could just... Um... Yes, we were, Rocket. Um, you, you could play them but with a guide up. So you can have a crack at the puzzles when you want to and if you're struggling with them because some of them can be a little bit difficult to get sometimes um then you can check the guide for hints and this one in particular the tales of monkey island series there we go i was waiting for him to do that uh the tales of monkey island series actually has um i'll show you if i can uh in the settings hint frequency so I've got it set to where it is a standard. Um, so occasionally, if I'm not managing to do something, Guybrush will be like, hmm, maybe there's another way we could do this. And he'll give you little hints to help you on your way to getting the, the answer to the puzzle. And this is just where it's set as standard when you boot the game up for the first time. But if you prefer a more challenging approach, um, and you don't want any hints, you can set it right down to the bottom or you can set it all the way up to the top if you want as many hints as possible. And Telltale do that with most of their point and clicks. It's become sort of a standard feature, which is nice. Last time I played a point and click, I caused a small fire. Oh my. Hey, Tids, how you doing? Uh, very little so far. Um, we're still doing the um, wind puzzle. I can't remember how you get the um thank you very much for the follow bar point welcome to the stream i hope you're having a good sunday um Ugh. this one looks like it's missing a nose oh i know exactly what to do about that Baba. -ba. oh <laughs> da da much better okay well better anyway That looks like that one. Um, yeah, we're doing the wins puzzle. Something ain't right. Indeed. Oh, 
That's two. Hmm. I wonder what wind god that was supposed to. Ew. Broken wind. Got it. Sweet boy. Delightful. Step away from that delicate machinery and give me your hand. And if I don't. Fair play, Tids. I'm, I'm glad the kindergartening went well. Yeah, I can appreciate that, Cass. Just take your time, and like I said before, if you need to take a moment, um, do so. Self-care is the important part here. Mm, I don't even... Has, has it just pushed me back to the beginning? I think it has, hasn't it? That's the one we've just done, so no, it hasn't. Ooh, enjoy making your soup, cyborg. Love a bit of tomato soup. That's the busted one. Can't do that one yet. Let's see if we can find the third one. Oh, bollocks. Foodie Ladies Creepy Shack. I do love that they update the um, tag for that once you know whose Creepy Shack it is. Okay, back to the entrance, I think. Um... Messed up idol must be the broken one. Which one's the strange idol? Oh, strange idol is the broken one. Okay. Ooh, good idea, Cass. You enjoy your pizza. Always got to have a creepy abode, definitely, Podlord. Okay, so that was the strange idol. What's the messed up idol then? A little running sound. Oh, we've not done this one. Okay, we can do this one. Or can we? Um, doesn't look like it's got the thing for the weather vane on top. Nah. Hmm. What? This idol doesn't even have an axle. It'll never work like this. Ah, I have an idea. Cheese. That's a spectacularly good idea, but I don't think the eyes I'm looking for are on this idol. Oh, okay. Cheese. Cheese, Guybrush. Cheese. I've just figured it out. I think. We'll go to the beach because that's closer. I think. I could have gone to the dock actually. Wouldn't have really mattered. You forgot the crackers. You forgot the crackers, Guybrush. 
can't go to Monkey Island without the crackers. Okay, so I know what would cheer up these gruesome carvings. Cheese. He did the thing. Yeah, nope. Still menacing. Oh, <laughs> now my cheese wheel is staring at me. Jeez. You know, thinking about how much I love Wallace and Gromit and the fact that we've played the Wallace and Gromit um, games on stream and how much I love cheese, it's kind of a crime that I don't have any Wallace and Gromit sound alerts. I'm going to have to fix that. Like, the only one I had was Wallace going, everyone knows the moon's made of cheese, but I don't think that one works at the minute. Right, it was the strange idol that was broken so we'll go to the strange idol with our spooky cheese wheel I didn't think it was possible but this idol's cheesier than ever Oh, Guybrush. Your jokes are worse than mine. <laughs> oh yeah, a uh, bad joke works properly again now. Uh, thanks to the tinkering I've been doing. I see. That looks right. Indeed, Kian. I love that laugh. Yay, Cass. Love a bit of pizza. Oh, Santa Maria Conchita Alonso. I knew I should have worn my chinos today. Ah, that must be the wind that makes you reconsider wearing shorts. Hmm, no sign of the marquee. Good. All that shooting was giving me a headache. <laughs> okay. Um, so now we just have to figure out what to do about the last one. Hmm. I don't know if we've got anything... Oh, bloody hell, Cass, that's horrifying. Sorry, Porthos just shifting then and has pushed my keyboard out of the way. There we go. Uh, okay. So... Shit. That's super scary, Cass. Uh, uh. In the shit part of town. Oof. Boy, do I know that feeling. It appears that tomorrow the Moon Knight trailer will drop. Looking forward to seeing. <gasps> yes! Finally! Got any intel about a new Monkey Island game? I'm starving. I don't know. I mean, there's been whispers that there's going to be um, a Monkey Island expansion for um, Sea of Thieves, which I am A-OK -okay with if they do, because I, I do really like Sea of Thieves in spite of the fact that I get killed a lot by randos. Um... But if they d did actually do that, because um, there's already Monkey Island Easter Egg in um, the Pirates of the Caribbean stuff that's been done. Um, 
Okie dokie, Ken. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of whispers that because of the way that Easter egg is written, um, the next sort of story, uh, side story thing is going to be a uh, uh, Monkey Island thing. And I would be so, so happy with that as uh, a continuation of Monkey Island in a way. I mean, they've already got um, a relationship with Disney because they've done the Pirates of the Caribbean thing. And Disney do own all of LucasArts stuff now, including Monkey Island. Which is why, apparently, the um, Monkey Island collector's box set from Limited Run Games didn't have any of the soundtracks in it. Because a different part of LucasArts, Lucasfilm, Lucasfilm Games, whatever they're calling themselves at this point, I've lost track... Um, a different part of it owns the rights to the music over the games. Um, so they couldn't include the soundtracks because the contract they had was with the bit um, that owns the games and not the bit that owns the soundtracks, which is just uh, copyright and trademark and shit like that. It's just so fucking confusing. Needlessly so, in my opinion, but here we are. Lucas from Mother 3, my favourite LucasArts company. Yeah. Let's hope it's true. Yeah, that would be so good. I mean, I, I do love the Monkey Island um, it's Easter egg. It made me so, so happy. Um, folks may have seen um, one of my Saturday night streams where I um, played through it with uh, Longfang. Because uh, he'd done it before, so he knew where everything was, and I was just wandering around getting excited about things. Um... Poor thought, sweetheart. I know you want cuddles, but you're stopping me from using my keyboard, and it's really kind of annoying. You happy now? Dogs. He's such a great big baby. Super quiet. Awesome. Welcome back, cyborg. Um, I would, Tibbs, but he keeps moving as he just did. Look, sweetheart, you're beautiful, you're adorable, but you are really hindering my progress. And I don't need any help in that regard, I'm thick enough as it is. Go to sleep. Good boy. There we go. Pop a perch. Yeah, I am just a dog bed today. I nearly had to start the stream late because he was laying on me in such a way that I couldn't move. Um, and then he got uncomfortable, elbowed me in the crotch, and then decided it was time to move. Um, okay, so we need something to... Maybe we can use the cheese now that we've used it for that other job. Because I don't think there's anything else we can pick up. Um, for those that missed the earlier parts of this playthrough, um, I haven't played this since it came out. Uh, and my memory, for a number of reasons, is piss poor. So I remember the key story beeps, but don't remember the solutions to the puzzles. So I'm basically playing this for the first time all over again. Okay, let's figure out the final wind idle thingy and get the heck There you go, we just needed a cutscene. Memory? Who's that? <laughs> How'd you beat me here? Well, I did wander to the wrong location. <laughs> Lovely cyborg sounds lush. Uh Hey look, it's King Louis the Twelfth! My liege! I thought you were dead! Uh yeah. Nope. Ah. We. That one looked like it hurt. His rifle is just as wimpy as the man who built it. Oof. Bit harsh. Okay. So the sun's just gonna do that again. We know that. What's a memory? Very nice, cyborg. 
an air gun seems pointless. It does indeed, Cass. It would be a lot easier to just shoot him with a proper blunderbuss or something of that ilk. But this is a family-friendly game, don't you know? Sort of. I don't know. I think someone told me, but I don't remember. Yeah, that is a A-plus response there, Cass. Well done. Um, hmm... This could be a speed thing, and I just need to do whatever it is quickly. Oh, oh, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do, I think. You're still here? But of course. Oh my, it's King Louis the Thirteenth. Mon Dieu. What was that fooping sound? <laughs> now if you'll just stop waving that rifle around, I've got some winds to change. Not so fast, insignificant pirate person. Sacre merde! Um... Oh, I'd love to, but I'm pretty sure the Desinge doesn't have the necessary slots. Yeah, exactly, Pudlord. <laughs> Can you take his lunch money? No. That would be a little bit cruel, I think. No. Um, I tried to put a weather vane um, on top of the idol, Cass, and uh, Guybrush said, I'd love to, but I don't think Desange has the necessary slots. That was a noise. Y yeah. I don't seem to be able to, like, help him out of it. Um. Nope. Nope. Mm, no. Mm. Can I? No! Oh, 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 okay. Turn the wheels and listen. <laughs> wow! I had forgotten about this. Um. <clears throat> Is he going to do that again? I'm going to have to try and keep quiet for this one. Fucking hell. Uh, oh. uh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> also hey Torpo. Hot damn. Sorry, Cass. <laughs> Ooh, the pox is blowing out to sea. Hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the fundament. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Zut alors. The winds. Do you have any idea what you've done? Without the winds of flotsam bringing me a steady supply of injury-prone paratest subjects, the pace of my groundbreaking experiments was slow to a crawl. Talk to the hand, sicko, because the pirate ain't listening. Ugh, mark my words, Sweepwood. You'll rue the day you cross the Marquis de Singe. And your little hand, too. Rue? 
I don't know the meaning of the word. Literally. Well, looks like my work here is done. I better hurry back to the screaming narwhal before the flotsamites get wind of the um wind. Ben Winslow, where are you? Right here, sir. Raise anchor and get us the heck out of here before the winds change. With pleasure, Captain. Why is his hand smelly and green? His hand is smelly and green because he has contracted the pox of Lechuk, Pud Lord, um, which he has also given to a load of other people and now um, blown out across the sea. Congratulations, sir. A screaming <laughs> oh, this is topical <laughs> indeed, Put Lord. Where to now? Guybrush doesn't wash his hands three brood. Um <laughs> Set sail for the rock of gelato so I can work on my tan. Um Mr Van Winslow, if you would be so kind. Three put is a super spreader, yes he is. <laughs> I said set a course for Oh come on Come on hot sir <laughs> If Kybrush used something topical we might not have a plot Hey well done Topo <laughs> Okay. Hmm, this tar might be useful. Wow. <coughs> uh Winslow? Sir. Set a course for here. Hey. Whoa. It was indeed, Cass. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Or later tonight. <laughs> Whichever comes first. Couldn't possibly regret this decision. <laughs> I'm glad that you're glad, Cass. I'm always happy to know folks are having a good time. Um... I mean, that's. Oh, bullshit, would it do that? Tokyo Drift on the seas a little bit, yeah. Uh, what have we got in our inventory? That's the this main mast of the screaming narwhal. Or main tree. Okay, so we can't go up there. All we can interact with. Can we interact with the cannon? Okay, all we can interact with is the cannon and the wheel. So. You know, it's a shame that. Uh, Covid doesn't make people punch themselves in the face because um, we'd probably have less people um, being arseholes about it if that was the case. <laughs> Sorry about the flickering there.
That's just swell. My brand new ship's all covered with tar. This is all your fault, you know. Ow! <laughs> That's very true, Tids. Hey, I bet this sticky puddle of tar would be perfect for trapping my evil hand. Well, I guess I shouldn't have tipped my, um, hand. <laughs> Uh, okay. That's what I call a sticky situation. Guybrush! You deserved that one. That were awful. I mean, what's going to happen now if we try and use the wheel? Is anything going to happen? Or doesn't look like it? Okay. Can we talk to Winslow without... What's that, sir? He said make way to the... Well, that's not going to work. Okay, so can't converse with him at all. Will he climb the mast? Keep scrubbing tar off my main mast. Ow. <laughs> hmm. Put a knuckle duster on the hand. Make its job easier. Nothing like a deafening cannon discharge to clear the mind. Mm-hmm. I thought we needed the locket for later, but it's worth a try. Now why would I want to get that all covered with sticky tar? Fair point, well made. Um... Now why would I want to get that all covered with sticky tar? I am missing something. Map, thank you, Torpor. Winslow? Captain? Just go where I point. Oh come on! Oh shit, yes, because he's going to punch himself really hard in the face and fall in the tar, which wasn't there before. Thank you, Torpor. Right. Can't reach tar sticking pronouns. Failing. Guess I'm stuck. <laughs> mm, okay. Hmm. Actually, could we? Yep. Or can we just shout to him? Winslow? Make way for <laughs> the Rock of July. We can just do that. Aye, aye, Captain. Sometimes the simplest solution is the correct one. Oh yeah, um, his cursed hand um, Finally, can be kept at bay by yeah, grogging it, but every time he grogs it, it's going to be aye, um, even meaner when it comes round. The main ship looks pretty good, considering that it was exploding the last time I saw it. <laughs> where's my ship? And Elaine? Is she out looking for me? Is she still in the Chuck's clutches? Is her beautiful bloated corpse slowly rotting at the bottom of the... Hey! What's that? Winslow, enhance the upper right quadrant 50%. <laughs> it's my ship! Winslow, full enhancement! Elaine! I'm coming, Plunder Bunny! Wait, what's that? Oh no, it's LeChuck! Elaine, look out! Plunder Bunny? Guybrush Threepwood. I 
I've been waiting a long time for this. Um, could you wait a little longer? Oh no, I had a feeling this might happen. Guess what I've not installed yet. So that's chapter one. Installation party! Hey Hans, how you doing? Ooh, lovely. That's okay. Thank you for popping in and saying hello. It's always appreciated. How many chapters are there? I think there's four or five. I think there's five actually. Um, and I've just um, popped into Steam to check. Uh, so... Need the other half of my keyboard now. Uh, yeah, there's five. So if I quickly just install that while the credits are rolling on chapter one, hopefully. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. What could possibly go wrong? This is going to turn into a floor stream again. No, it's not, Cyborg. For one thing, the dog's on my lap, so I can't be on the floor. And for another thing, we only did that because he was on the floor scared of the fireworks. That was a fairly fun stream, though. There we go. Second one's finished downloading. I will have to go into BRB mode to set it up um, after the credits on this one are finished. Um... Music Editing and Mastering by Jared Emerson Johnson, who is Telltale's um, resident music person. Um, did all of the Sam and Max music. Actually, while the credits are rolling, that's a, a good point to um, mention that. Um, Skunk Ape, or Skunk Ape, if you uh, are in on that joke, games have released the second season of Sam and Max uh, and I've picked it up with a discount because I own the first season um, so we can carry on with the Sam and Max playthrough and it be less jank um, at some point in the future if folks want but yeah what could go wrong <laughs> Uh, it has actually finished uh, downloading and installing, so it it didn't take very long. I might uh, just install the rest of them because they're not very big, I don't think. Petting the popper, as we're going through. Yeah. So, what do folks think so far? Now that you've seen chapter one, and feel free to compare it to uh, Monkey Island Four or the other three Monkey Island games, you know, the three that we actually like. <laughs> um, Monkey Island, good, good. I'm glad, I'm glad you think so, Kian. Monkey babies. Har, har, har. Monkey. Uh, yeah, 2009 this came out. That was the last time I played it. <laughs> Guybrush is a danger to himself and to others, so a perfect politician. Accurate. Accurate. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm actually going to put us on the intermission screen. Hi! Uh, whilst I do first time installation and uh, whatnot for chapter two. So we can keep chatting, basically. That is, of course, if I move Steam out of the way of the chat window so I can actually see what you're saying to me. Getting late and social battery is depleted. So yeah, been fun chatting. It's been lovely to have you here, Cass. You get some good rest. 
and uh, take care, okay? So yeah, I was, well, when this first came out, I was kind of, hmm, how, how to describe it? Oh, oh, it saved my settings from chapter one. Wicked. Does that mean I don't have to fuck about setting anything up? Other than um, the screen capture, obviously. It's, that's brilliant. Well done, Telltale. I'm proud of you. Um, yeah, they've actually, it's saved all of my screen resolution settings and everything. So all I've got to do for, um, the screen capture is find the relevant thing in, here it is, OBS and change the EXE to Monkey Island 102. Perfect! That was shockingly easy. Ba ba! <laughs> it's always nice when something works out. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to check. audio settings yeah it's kept it's even kept my audio settings huh that's i am really pleased with this turn of events five tits See what it does when I do that. Nothing, because there isn't one. Okay. Yeah, I, I was really worried it was going to be more like Monkey Island 4, but I think it's done a really good job, um, and I felt this way when I first played it as well, of being more like its predecessors, uh, like, like 1 through 3, whilst acknowledging the fact that 4 is a thing that happened. <laughs> Still not best pleased about the fact that I have to use WASD to play a point and click, but um, you know, that's a thing I can get over. Hey, it voodoo lady. Said, what fates impose that men must need abide? It boots not to resist both wind and tide. Yet, Guybrush Treepwood has somehow managed to turn the tides of fate by removing the voodoo curses from his nemesis, Glitchuck. Infected himself, Guybrush escaped the scientific experiments of the Marquis de Sange and managed to divert the ill winds of change, an action which could alter his own fate as well as the fate of the entire Caribbean. That is, if he lives long enough. <laughs> I really like her, like, cards there. It would have been really nice if we could have had a replica of them in the box set. I'm sure there's been some mistakes. I'm going to cuddle the pup whilst uh, we watch the cutscene. I am Morgan LaFlay, mighty pirate hunter. My name is feared across the seven... TM. I've taken down some of the most hardened, grog-guzzling scumbags from here to Zanzibar. It's an honor to finally face off against the legendary Guybrush Threepwood. The Flay? But you're a woman. I thought... Wait, you've heard of me? Have I heard of you? <laughs> Guybrush Threepwood, the pirate who destroyed the ghost pirate LeChuck single-handedly? Who discovered the mythical treasure of Big Wolf? Who escaped the inescapable Carnival of the Damned? I've been following you my whole life! Wow. Conveniently doesn't mention the plot of uh, Monkey Island 4 there. Marquis de Singe wants that hand of yours, so I'm bringing you in. And don't even try your insult sword fighting technique on me. That's something only farm boys use these days. <laughs> Deep like game. Oh, I was using that. Oh, this is gonna be good. Pick up your sword and face me like a man. 
like you're a man or like I'm a man? On guard. Okay, cuddles are over now, Bobby. Need my hand back. Sorry. <clears throat> I bet that line could hold my weight, but it's about an inch out of reach. I'm a little too busy for that right now. How did you get on my ship anyway? I simply grappled aboard while you were busy staring out at the sunset. You aren't very observant, you know. By the way, my grapple hook got stuck, so you owe me a new one. I think Winslow put that barrel up there to keep it from rolling around on deck. Or to keep me from Fair. breaking it. The cannon isn't pointed at her. Besides, aiming at things actually on my ship is probably not a good idea. Hold so fast. It's a mess in there. I'll clean it later. <laughs> There's the grappling hook. Uh... I'm a little too busy for that right now. Fair play. Okay. Uh, we'll talk to her again. We'll just, we'll chat with her a little bit. Indeed, Pudlord. Hey, where's Winslow? You better not have heard him, you salty sea witch. He's fine. No. I just got him tied up in the main quarters. Keep your head in the fight. Don't worry about me, Captain. I am sure I can wriggle my way out of these ropes eventually. He's so chipper. <laughs> like, if you're gonna have anyone as your first mate, you want Winslow. He's a good bean. <laughs> and there's Guy Brush's hand harassing a seagull. Hey, get off my hand, stupid bird. Hey, shoot, get away. Okay. You climbed onto my ship with this? Where's the rope part? Well, obviously I kept the rope. You wouldn't believe the number of situations a length of rope comes in handy for. For it's example, true. using it to tie up your first mate. Yeah, well, I'm keeping the hook. Go ahead. I'll just take it back after I kill you. Okay, so we now have a hook. Wrong button. Can I use it on myself? No. Oh yeah, it doesn't work like that. Nope. Suppose I can't really combine items in my pocket whilst I'm fighting, can I? Let's talk to her again. Aren't you getting tired yet? Not a chance. I train myself by studying your moves. I can match you blow for blow. Heck, I can even hold my breath for five minutes, just like you. Ha! I can hold my breath for ten minutes. You mean that's true? I thought the stories were exaggerated. Impressive. So, who's um, getting the feeling that uh, there's a, a little more to Morgan than what she lets on? Oh, ow! Hi, Porthos. The hand is becoming more and more evil deadish by the chapter. Yes, Podlord, and that is intentional. Is Guybrush going to have an apprentice? Well, he's certainly got a fan, put it that way, Hans. Uh... Ah, the only thing worse than a pirate hunter. A fangirl. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Aha! Try and catch me now. Bet you didn't see that move coming. Yikes! Was that supposed to hurt me somehow? Maybe. Did it work? No. Dang. Uh. <laughs> That's the mast of my ship, the screaming narwhal. Not now, Guybrush. I know what a mast is. <laughs> I can't reach it from here. Hmm. Is someone messing with my barrel? I put that up there for a reason, you know. Sorry. Okay, we'll try talking to her to see if uh, that helps us move around. Taking orders from that disinge guy anyway. He's clearly one loony guy. Some cases there is very little difference. That's very true, Hans. I'm a mercenary. It's hey, Ash, how you doing? Once hired, I won't quit till the job is done. Even if it means taking down a pirate as renowned as yourself. Renowned? I didn't even realize I was now. so tired oh bless you well hopefully you can chill a little bit Hello there. can't we just agree to disagree Not during the stream happen. oh bless you Kybra should be out of blood by now that is a very fair point though he didn't bleed at all when the hand was cut off so maybe the pox has like cauterized it something like that I don't know I love how she stops just long enough for um Hey Cypher, how you doing? Uh for you to like shoo the uh or his arm is dead. Hmm? Could be Kian. Um what? that thing isn't very well secured. Hint hint. Uh okay. Woman. We need to steer the ship so that the barrel. There we go. Does that. I love the design of Morgan. Yeah, she's fab. Um. All oh, right, yeah, we talked to her to get him to move there. Um. A little too busy for that. No, I tried that before, and he didn't want to. Is that gonna? No. Good. It didn't uh, turn it back the other way. Because I did the wrong thing there. <laughs> Time for some insult sword fighting. Cauterizing pox sounds like a Nurgle thing. Uh, to be fair, um, Lechuk was very Nurgly. Magic swords. Uh, <laughs> you fight like a cow. How appropriate, you fight like a dairy farmer? Something feels off here. My favourite was always, it's the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. Uh, Look behind you, a three-headed sea chimp. No thanks, I've already had lunch. No, oh, that's taking it too far. Are you okay? Quite well, sir. I'm sure I'll be out of these ropes and out to help you in no time. Oh, I caught the quarter store instead of the seagull. Hmm. Get out of here. Go on. Shoot. Fish. 
sorry, Morgan. I hate to do this to a fan, but you did cut off my hand. What? Uh-oh. Ah! You are good, Guybrush Threefoot. Well, I hate to Now Guybrush is a proper pirate, indeed. Hey, Winslow. <laughs> Gone. And she took my hand. Quick, let's get out her ass. Let her go, Mr. Winslow. Got to find Elaine. Last time I saw her, she was falling into LeChuck's evil clutches. Looked like a cheerful, friendly moment to evil me. Evil clutches. <laughs> Welcome back, Rocket. Hope you enjoyed your lunch. We can't, Mr. Down. Winslow. The credits have started. It is? It is indeed. It may be just a hairline fracture, but I can tell. We'll have to take it easy until we can get her fixed. Very well, Mr. Winslow. We'll head for the Jerkbait Islands. Right. We can have our master there. <laughs> five-ish chapters sure. left. Also, that's indeed. The Elaine was headed. I'll steer while you navigate. I mounted the map outside your quarters for your convenience. Oh right, yeah, Porthos uh, has gone downstairs, so I can use my keyboard in a comfortable position now. Ha ha! Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow. Aw, Cypher, that's so cute. Thank you. Was it a cute t-shirt? Guybrush Streetwood in his adventures of just being slowly crippled. Yep. Well, he had the pox, and now he's got the lasting side effects of having had the pox. Uh, we've got the Jerkbait Islands, we've got Flotsam Island. We've just been there, we don't want to go back. <laughs> Lovely Podlord. <laughs> So the Rock of Gelato is where we were supposed to be going. Seen cuter. Ah, fair play, Cypher. The Isle of You. I wonder what they were trying to aim for there. Actually, the Rock of Gelato has been pretty unlucky for me. First the whole LeChuck and ship exploding thing, then Morgan cut off my hand when I went back. Mr. Winslow, let's avoid the Rock of Gelato from now on. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. I could really go for some gelato now. I love you. I uh, think we should discuss that sort of thing after we've reached our destination. <laughs> what? Oh, I love you. Sounds like I love you. <laughs> Pretty good joke. <sighs> yes, sir. Uh, joke. Aww. Poor Winslow. Oh, I didn't think tiny islands like this actually existed. Good thing I'm not stuck here. I haven't finished my top five things to have while stranded on a deserted island list. Junkie. <laughs> sand. So much I mean, sand. As small as these islands are, I wouldn't want to just dig randomly in the hopes of finding buried treasure. I'd be island hopping for years. Gruesome. I'm not touching it. It looks slimy. Oh, Guybrush. Okay, that's that's an invisible wall. That's why he won't go over there. There is nothing for us here. Half hedgehog. Oh, I'm done here. oh thank you, Rocket. I'll take a look uh, in a bit. I love that movie as well, Ash. Um, like, I love Isle of Dogs. <laughs> I sense a future relevance, indeed, Hans. I think it's the same with Boulder Beach, but okie dokie, Hans. You take care. Have a lovely rest of your Sunday. Pretty big rock for such a tiny little island. 
Maybe this is the tip of a giant underwater pyramid from a highly advanced ancient civilization. Or maybe it's just a rock. Hiya, Rocky. <laughs> well done, Tits. Well done. <laughs> I like your idea, Threepwood. It's a good idea. Big rock. Nothing here either. I really like the way it fades back to the uh, the map. It's very very nice. Okay, so we've we've literally got Jerk Bay Islands and Flotsam Island. I think. I guess we uh we out now. We won't be able to reach land. Let's have a look see what we've got here. Ah, okay, so we actually Except Yep, Jerk Beta is islands, The illusion of choice. <laughs> Are we there yet, Mr. Winslow? Hey, Porthos. Hey, come back. You want to come back up? Of course you do. Really? Where is everybody? Come on, then. Up, up. If the city is still no? By merfolk, I'd say underwater. Merfolk? <laughs> Maybe I'll meet a pretty mermaid. Well... Um... Maybe later. First, I've got to make sure Elaine is safe from the evil of LeChuck. Don't forget, before we can set out to sea again, we'll need our mast repaired. Right, right, we need a plastic pair, got it. Oh, come on. Uh. <laughs> there we go. Him so baby. Thank you for the treat for Porthos, Tids. Praise be! Wow, the cult of Porthos is uh, strong today. Thank you for the treat for Porthos, Ash. Some dog treat ASMR for you all. Supplication to our lord. <sighs> okay, let's... Uh, he crunch. No fishing. Strong pirate like yourself, afraid of a little of the cave like me? This is what Sorry we're here for. Oh, okay then. Yep. You're here for the dog. I understand. It's fine. Are you Ethel Merman? Oh my god. So, are you a mer That's right. I am 100% proud of the Kalian merfolk. Tail kind of gave it away. <laughs> You're all so, so good. You Thanks, Ash. Okay. Ever hear of a man named Dakava? I'm supposed to show him this locket. You mean Crazy Sponge Guy? Yeah, I remember him. Last time I saw him, he was putting together a crew to go after some mystical sea urchin or something. Haven't seen him in a while, though. He used to have a little shelter out on Row Island. Yeah, that's fair, Ash. Let's face it, every other cult that's been started around a single person has uh, been, as you put it, kind of cringe. Oof. And now we are back to cuddle time and I have to use my keyboard in a really awkward way you're lucky I love you dog yes I do even though you're smelly yes very smelly the smelliest in fact also you don't have a command for you that makes you eat treats I don't have any treats to eat like hang on 
this is my pick and mix jar all it's got left in it is nerds and i can't get them out easily because they're tiny um but i've not had any pick and mix for ages if i ever manage to get myself some more sweets from sweet punks i will fill the jar up and i will put a, a thing on there so that <laughs> pour them into your mouth chug the nerds Thank you for the hydrate, Cypher. That was well timed. Um, yeah, if I if I ever manage to get myself some more uh, sweets from um, Sweet Punks, I will fill the jar up and I will put a points um, thingy in so that I can have a pick and mix. And there, there we go. There will be no scritches for me because scritching yourself is just weird. Um, but. There will, there, there will be treats for me if I ever remember to do that. Uh, I'm looking for my wife, Elaine. She's the most beautiful so baby. I've ever seen. Oh. red hair and eyes as green as summer grog. And not to be done in public, so indeed. You know, Especially not on Twitch. It's against terms of service. Oh, ow, ow, ow. I don't know what I said. <sighs> okay. You saw Elaine with some other guy? Who was he? Some big jerk? I could probably take him. You know, if I had to. But Elaine is usually okay, right? Yeah, I think so. She went right over to the royal chamber and the guy set off into the jungles with an armful of monkeys. Royal chamber. Got it. I'll deal with the monkey smuggler later. Monkey smuggler. That is very true, Tids. I could. I've got some really good quality vodka that I could do that with as well. Mm. Do you know Let's go with that one. Get my I sure do. There is a shop right inside our town. Just follow the cave. Indeed, Cypher. Right okay. Now, I'm going to click this one because I want to show you folks something in the background when Guybrush is talking. Look at the rock behind him. Cool raft. Crab. Do you have a pass? Crab friend. Uh, I do not. Well, I can't let you get by on your good looks alone. You're gonna have to get yourself a transit pass. I think she's flirting with me. Crib. Yes. Where can I get a transit pass? You may be and now that's all you're gonna be able to look at when Guybrush is talking. Bollocks to Guybrush, there's a crab on screen. I gotta run. Uh, no offense. None taken. Flirting is an alien concept. What is it? I mean, to be fair, Pudlord, I'm bad at that stuff too. So. What I want, or we'll tear your whole town to pieces. Looking. You and your men shall not have the ancient summoning um. artifacts. Then maybe we'll move on to your innards and tear those to pieces looking, you overgrown tadpole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure we can find a solution that works for everyone. Elaine. Guybrush. Oh, Guybrush. Aww. Thank goodness you're all right. I've been worried sick about you. First the explosion, then that big cloud of voodoo pox you released from the chuck started infecting pirates all over the Caribbean. That was an accident. The sword was crooked. The spell was misspelled. The breathments had artificial ingredients. It wasn't my fault. I bet there was a conspiracy. Oh my god! Your hand! <laughs> what oh happened? shit, yeah. <laughs> what happened to your hand? And where is your wedding ring? Uh oh. Um, well, it happened like this. Arr, I should gut you where you stand. I better get back there before they kill each other. Here, take my ring. Oh, no, that's the one I... Just take it. Trust me. And don't lose it, Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, come on. Who's absent-minded enough to lose two wedding rings? 
It's me, Garbor Streetwood, Whitey Pirate. Shut up, you. <laughs> uh, for the record, anybody that doesn't know, uh, that wedding ring that she gave him was cursed and turned her to stone in a previous game. <laughs> Fuck you too, Parrot. <laughs> Looks important. Hey, this fishy looking guy still has one glass eye. Shoot, why do I have this uncontrollable urge to poke at fish eyes? <laughs> Delightful guy brush. Delightful. So, what's everybody talking about? Arr. Me and my men seem to have Doesn't have any eyes now, so it's a psh. Well done, Ash. But they won't give it up. We'll never give you the summoning items, Captain McGillicutty. Not after the years of polluting our sacred waters. So we accidentally spilt a few barrels of spoiled grog over the years. Accidentally, my dorsal fin. Ah, oh, shut your blowhole! Gentlemen, please. I'm sure you and Chieftain Beluga can come to some kind of agreement. What's this about a cure? The Vakalians hold an ancient prophecy that tells of a mythical sea sponge with the a power to behind me. Undo energy. La Sponja Grande. Yes, but to find the Sponja Grande. You must first summon the legendary sea creatures who can guide you to its location. Belly. <laughs> yeah. That's why we need the rest of those summoning items. My men have already recovered one of them. May as well just hand over the rest. Okay, his chicken legs up as well. Yeah, he did. You mentioned summoning artifacts. Thank you for the treat for poor Foster. <laughs> and he is suddenly very alert. Ready? You catch it. They are in the form of the he did not catch the it. Ocean, the wise turtle, noble seahorse, and the cranky fish. Cranky fish? Uh, the yeah. prophecies are very old. Lick my fingers, you weirdo. Some of the translations may be a bit off. When these artifacts are combined, and the ceremony of which your words recited, the legendary sea creatures will rise from the ocean and lead you to the source of the cure. What are these legendary sea creatures? Though I have never seen them, the prophecies say they are a physical representation of the ocean gods on Earth, and that they will lead the way to the mouth and the sponge. Mouth? Enough of this! The only mouth you need to be concerned with is the one I'm gonna shove a hook through if I don't get no summoning artifacts! I'm sure we can come up with a slightly less grisly approach if we try. I thought you guys worshipped wind gods. Yes. Some of our people tried evolving and living on land ages ago, but they always come back to the sea. Do you know the ceremonial ritual words by heart? I do. And as chieftain of the Vacalians, I am the only one that does. Maybe you could I really like the Vacalians design. The ritual words if he agrees to take only half the sponge. You'll be telling them all to me, or you'll be our chieftain catcher today, come supper! <laughs> it's a cool design. Hmm. I think it'd be quite fun to paint as well. Probably an airbrush thing, so I wouldn't be able to do it, but I really love the way that the blue and the yellow sort of meld together. Stab this guy! <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Any of you ever heard of Coronado de Cava? I was told to look for him here in Shomalaka. I do remember this man. He too was obsessed with finding La Esponja Grande. But I have not seen him around in Spinner Cay for some time. Perhaps he gave up. Or died in the pursuit. If you gave him the summoning items, I swear I've got every one of you. No one is gutting anyone. We can work this out peacefully. 
That's fair, Ash. I have been there. I noticed a cool wreck down by the docks. How would I go about getting a ride on that? Ah, just completely unrelated to anything that's happening right now, but I want to go on a, a raft ride. Honey, I already purchased a few all-day transit passes. Doing my part to support the economy, you know. All right. Thanks, Lady. Thank you, Governor Marley. Not in front of company, dear. Sorry, Lady Boo. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh. Hey, honey, can I talk to you for a sec? Of course, dear. What is it? I wouldn't believe what I've had to go through to find you. A crazy homicidal French doctor, an island with winds that kept everybody from leaving. I even faced off against the infamous pirate hunter, Morgan Le Flay, and she, uh, he's just as vicious as people say. Oh, I wish I could have been there for that. So, have you been trying to find me, too? Of course, dear. That's why we came here. Well, that and the monkeys. You said you came here partly for the monkeys. What monkeys? You know what? All those poor monkeys the Chuck had cast a spell over on my ship. Well, we were able to gather them all up, and we're going to make sure they all get back to their proper habitat. Several of them are native to the Jerkbait Islands. Sounds like you spent more time rescuing monkeys than you did looking for me. I can do anything. He's not monkeys bitter anymore. though. I've seen you scratch your behind in the morning. You're very talented. I love Elaine. Were you really worried about me? I mean, you did stop to chat with these fish people. Guybrush, we Guy came here brush. looking for you. If we had tried to leave, the ugly, diseased pirate over there was going to have us killed. I had to stay. I guess that's all I have to say. Just want to point out that Porthos is sleeping next to his bed instead of on it. Sometimes I think he's more cat than dog. Well, this is really between you and the fish people. Hope you guys get things worked out. Nice chatting with you. Come on, Elaine, let's go. Hi, Brush. We can't leave. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll pee first. Why not? I've got a new ship and everything. These pirates are acting um, the influence of the pox. And since no, Ash. He does um, sit on my lap, though, and he does put his front paws on my shoulders. Um, and I have caught him perching on the arm of the couch a few times. I mean, you've got to get hold of those summoning artifacts. They are the key to everything. The Gillicutty's men have got one of them stashed somewhere. Before you turned up, I was about to go to Row Island to follow up on a lead. And I've got the chuck looking for the third one on Spoon Isle. Lower? Chuck? You let him go? You sent him on a mission? Yes, don't worry, dear. I have a little Good. kitty about him, indeed. I'm sorry. I thought I just heard you describe Le Chuck. Fearsome, voodoo, ghostly, demonic, pure, evil, incarnate pirate Le Chuck as harmless. I wonder when I started hallucinating. Guy, but he's different, and I don't have time to argue. He's going to need your help. Please, my swashbuckling sea stud. Uh, nope. Nope. Pretty please with marshmallows. No. Please. No. -uh. Pretty please. I'm with Guybrush on this one. Yeah, that's fair. Negative. Listen here, thought I will not be swayed. Yet. I'll be your best friend. Um, um. Forget it. <laughs> I'll make it worth your while. Not gonna happen. But I'm your wife. Uh, fine. So you'll be my personal pirate paladin and get those <laughs> while I Rudy should be my best friend, we're married. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, how about this? We each get one summoning <sighs> item and go our separate ways. Arr, what's the point of that? 
I'll never let them have our sacred items. Well then, what do you two suggest? And now they argue again. And we go on a raft ride. All oh, right, yeah, I need my keyboard again now. Hi, a lemonade. Hello, a lemonade. A lemonade. <laughs> Fabulous. Ooh, raft. Can I ride it? Do you have a pass? Actually, I do. Here you go. One official Vakalian transit pass. Good for 24 hours. I bet you are. Huh? The raft is yours for the day. Just hop on board and use it to sail anywhere within the Jerkbait Islands. Thanks. I don't know, man. For some reason, when I see Guybrush now, all I can hear is the cracking of whips. <laughs> Uh, she wanted us to go to Spoon Isle to help LeChuck, didn't she? Why Spoon? Doesn't look like a spoon. Look, would you just give me the artifact so we can bury it and get out of here? Nope. But McGillicutty gave it to me. <coughs> I get to be the one who picks where to hide it. Sorry, I got it now. Will you at least look at me so we can work this out? <laughs> nope. I bet that's the seahorse artifact the Merleader was talking about. I wonder if they'll just let me have it. <laughs> nope. I think we all know the answer to that question. Hey guys, what's going on? None of your business. Now why don't you back away? You're sticking up the plate. Get nice oh yeah? Well, anyway. you don't smell so... Thank you for the hydrate, Mum. Okay, well timed. Awkward, but you guys smell amazing. Yes, it's the savoury smell of thinly sliced potatoes, fried crisp and golden with a touch of honey and a dash of salt. <laughs> sweet, sweet summer child. Long to be back in the kitchen peeling my potatoes. Yeah, I long for that too. Can I have that we'll too? ask anyway. <laughs> Oh. Thank you for the treat for Porthos, Mum. He's actually not in the room right now, so I'll pop it to one side for when he comes back. It's like he knew. You ready, buddy? He caught it! He caught it! Hey! Good boy! Well done! And thank you for the pasta check, ma'am. Oh! Stab him before he found Walker's crisps. I like Walker's crisps. I think I may have just asked that, but oh well, too late now. Captain McGillicutty ordered us to hide the summoning artifact we found far away from the judge. I want to live the rest of my life having to see Gary Lineker. Fair. Fair. Only he won't give me the artifact back. We can blame the 90s for that, can't we? It's not Walkers that um, are totally to blame for that. But McGillicuddy clearly gave the idol to me. It's my duty, so I want to make sure this gets done right. It's his duty. to be the one who decides where to bury it. Sorry, Killick. Yeah. It meant that much to you. You shouldn't have left it sitting out in the open while you took a nap. And by out in the open, you mean placed in a small box, wrapped in wool, and stuffed down my pants? Well, if you didn't want pirates rummaging through your trousers while you were sleeping, you should have said so. I've got it now. I'll decide where to bury it. I know that they knew what they were doing when they wrote some of these lines, but still... It's getting awfully late in the day. What time did McGillicuddy want this done by? Oh boy, he's right. I don't care who buries it. Let's just go. Come on, keep up. Hey, my 
that? Well, shit. That was fast. Good and buried. Now we wait for McGillicuddy to pick us up. Bloody pirates! Should have stabbed them when you had the chance. He just really likes using cannons. Hey, look, another jungle puzzle. Who'd have thought? Okay, that's just a landmark. There's nothing to pick up there, it would seem. Hello, Porthos. What do you want, sweet pea? Hmm? He breathe, he snuff. What's up, baby? Hmm? Wanna come back up? Changeable as the wind, this dog. Come on. You slow me down. There we go. Happy now? Yeah? Oh, thank you for the treat for poor Fostids. You were ready for that one. Slobber chops. Sword. Sword. No sword. Tempting cataclysm in Vermintide. Oof, good luck, Rocket. You've got this. I believe in you. Can we, for those that have got access to it, um, have some tactical support badges in chat for Rocket Head, please? Okay, I guess that's a... That's a dead end. May Sigma bless your ravaged body. <laughs> Delightful. Vacalian ruins? ruins. This looks like some kind of old furnace, or maybe a barbecue. Mmm, Vacalian barbecue. It's another one of those. <laughs> it's a fishing well this fishing time well. instead of a wishing well. Fishing well? They probably meant wishing well. I'm sure it's just a typo. Free bait. Good for one order of fish eggs. Coupon valid at most participating jerkbait island locations. Neat. Go on then. Or don't. Just make things difficult for me, why don't you? Get you a man who looks at you like Saltspire looks at Sigmar. Excuse me, Porthos. You're putting your head right in the way of my keyboard. I deserved that. Seagull. Okay, we found the exit. Smooches all round, indeed. He licked my chin. Um, but, but. Oh, don't tell me you want to get down again. It's a pile of fallen trees. 
Can I pick one up? Trees. No. Hmm. Can they give me the fish eggs? I don't think that counts as a participating location. Spore, spore. Okay. They brought the raft back, so... Bye again, Porthos. He's actually gone to his bed this time. Hit the boy! On his bed. Uh... What a dull! Look at this! Oh, place. it's completely wicked rocket! Incredible. Well done. Uh, reminds me of my first apartment. <laughs> Mood guy brush. Yep, that's Kaba, all right. This must be his place. Looks as if he hasn't been here in ages. Wonder what happened to him. Hey, neat! It's a mounted singing manatee toy. And look at what it's called. Huh. Must be broken. I'm hoping you folks can read that. Oh, the humanity, indeed. I wonder. That'd make a lousy perch. That's a no then. Decava's journals. Poems I wrote while searching for a Spunja Grande. Wow, 36 volumes. Looks like he was searching for a long time. Or just a prolific writer. Oh, that's sweet. Musk at dusk. How to match the perfect couple. A complete guide to animal matchmaking. I think I'm learning way too much about this Dekava guy. Oh, it's covered in seagull droppings. I hope it got that way after he left this place. Man, we can only hope. Empty grog bottles. I'm sure he was just collecting these. <laughs> yeah, Tids. We cycle them. Was in a, a searching slump. Aww. Look a little like my good friend the voodoo lady, except skinny and kind of shaky and more out of proportion than usual. He must have done these from memory. Nice cans. Fucking hell, guy brush. Uh, no, it's just the cans. Okay. Yep, it's stuff. <laughs> hmm. Further worthless junk. Fabulous. Okay, Rafty, where should we go next? Oh dear, chat's getting thirsty. What am I going to do with you lot? Protected historical landmark. No part of this standing structure shall be defaced or removed at any time, as decreed by Chieftain Beluga. Sorry, blow me nose. Chloe. I like the jellyfish lamps. I think they're supposed to be jellyfish. They look a little bit like Navi from um, Legend of Zelda games, though. Hello, sailor. Hello, squishy fish person. <laughs> Hello, pudgy human. My name is Tetra. 
Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood and Pudgy? Have you been to our library to read up on the rich cultural history of the Vakalian race? No, actually, but I do have a few other questions. And I'm not Pudgy. Tell me about Vakalian history. Well, did you know that centuries ago, we Merfolk bypassed evolution and used Vakalian science to obtain legs on which to walk on land? Nope. I can safely say I did not know that. We used that same technology to reattach our tails when we returned to Mother Ocean. It's fascinating. Oh, yeah, fascinating. All this knowledge and more can be found right here in your local library. Ever hear of a guy named Dekava? I have a locket for him. Oh, yes. That guy used to be here at the library all the time, checking out books about sea sponges, aquatic mammals, and mythological treasures. A bit of a nut, if you ask me. Sea sponges, huh? When was the last time you saw him? Oh, it's been ages since he's been around. Good luck finding him. Thanks. You know, I would like a book from the library. I knew you would. What can I get for you? Hmm. How about a trashy romance novel? I'll be right back. I know just the thing. The Motion of the Ocean. Ooh, sounds racy. An accurate record of the spinner K tide changes over the last 50 years. So, oh. you know, why don't you just hold on to this one for me? What's the deal with this building? This is our library and cultural archives. It houses centuries worth of information about the evolution of the Vakalian people. It's also a protected national landmark, so it'll be here forever. But it's underwater. <laughs> well, of course. We sunk it. Why? The library was built during the age of terra firma, but when we as a race returned to the sea, we felt our knowledge should do the same. Doesn't that make your books all soggy? Hmm, sure does. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's have another book. I, I wanna. Sure. What are you looking for? Uh. Let's go lighthearted fiction. Lighthearted fiction. Perfect. I'll get you one of my favorites. Uh oh. Enjoy. The Old Man and the Seagull. It's about an old man who describes everything he sees, in detail, to a blind seagull while lost at sea. Oh, sounds exciting. I think I'll wait for the movie. Can you get me another Let's book? get the last book, too. Of course. Looking for anything in particular? How about something historical, ripe with political intrigue? Sure. Oh, I know a great one you might like. I'll be right back. Here you go. A city of two tales, an in-depth analysis of the rationale concerning the decision to leave the ocean and the inevitable return. I uh, think I've read this one before. Thanks anyway. <laughs> yeah, they did, Ash. That's enough book learning for now. I've got piratey things to do. Go get them, swashbuckler. I really, really like the Vicalians. Like they've they've got this very um I have socks older than your race kind of vibe going on. I mean of course they don't cuz they don't need socks, but you know what I mean. I have fin warmers older than your race. Um and I just kind of love the way they're just like vaguely patronizing. One giant tail sock. That works. Fresh bait. I'd like some bait, please. Fish eggs. Sure, here you go. Thanks. No problem. I just made them myself. 
You did what? <laughs> Relax. I'm just yanking your tail. You're adorable when you squirm. I, I I absolutely adore that. <laughs> Welcome back, Pud Lord. Did you get tasty leftovers? I love a good leftover raid. Yeah, that that was a, a good joke. Can I have this bucket? Well, I like you, so yeah, go ahead. What are you going to use it for? I don't know. So why do you want to take it? Um, because it's there, I guess? You're a weird kid. <laughs> Cute, but weird. Like, I definitely think, um, Anemone is interested in Guybrush. Um, but I feel like the others are just sort of like... Look at the, the silly little human. Isn't it funny? Isn't it cute? It's the closest thing they've, to a himbo they've seen in years. <laughs> He's kind of a himbo. I didn't actually I talk to them, did I? Yeah. I thought I told you to stay away from this place. Especially after that stunt you played at the Royal Aquarium. But I... <laughs> I'm just messing with you, handsome. It's me, Hanemone. Oh, uh, you got me. Uh, how'd you get up here? I swam. So, what did you say you needed? Like, we have any ground to stand on about being horny. Indeed, Cypher. But yeah, I think I think Anemone's got a bit of a thing for him. Um, but I think the, the chieftain doesn't give a shit. And the librarian um, is, as Pudlord's put it, bemused by him. He's he's just an adorable little oddity. It's like a he's their equivalent of a cat video on YouTube, you know. I need my mask repair. Sure thing. You want a patch job or a full mask repair? Uh, it's just a crack. I guess a patch job will do. See, that's how they get you. A patch job is basically the same amount of work as a full replacement, but it's certain to go bad on you a lot faster. I give you a full mass replacement. I'll be right back. Hmm. Why do I have that song stuck in my head? There we go, all fixed. Your man, Mr. Winslow, took care of the bill. Nice guy, that Reggie. Does he have a cousin? This <laughs> fish is thirsty, indeed. So you sell bait and repair ships here. That's an odd pairing. Well, times are tough. Sometimes you gotta pick up an extra job or two just to earn enough sand dollars to live on. That's tough. You think that's bad? And this place used to be a bait shop and pizza joint. And I still couldn't sell any anchovies. Hey. How'd you repair my ship so fast? I'm telling you, mouse replacement is easy. There are a whole slew of trees out there on Spoon Isle Beach just perfect for mouse. Not to mention the fact that they are just sitting by the water's edge where I can easily grab one. I just float one over to your ship, a flip, a flop, and it's done. Nice. These trees on Spoon Isle. Can anyone just take one? Technically, sure. But yeah, it is quite rare, isn't it, Ash? Hey, Ross, how you doing? Swimming around in all the water, yet so thirsty. Indeed, Pudlord. Then again, it'll be salt water. For how much we like fish, you'd think we'd be more about fish on pizza. Mmm. trade you a pyrite parrot sorry we don't take those no oh. we also don't accept personal checks travelers checks credit barter foreign currency or local currency you don't even take local currency what do you accept coupons <laughs> 
Sounds good, tits. Oh, fair play, Ash. Okay. About those coupons? Uh, do you have one? Why is my movement speed reduced to a crawl for no discernible reason? Everyone else is moving at normal speed. Explain, game. Are you carrying something that debuffs you, Rocket? Oh, I see how it is, Guybrush. Someone as attractive as you doesn't really need No inventory. Oh, okay. Uh, Welcome back, Cyborg. How are you doing? Are you How's the uh, Twitch Studio oh, fiddling going? Don't know. <laughs> Just bring me a coupon and I'll give you some bait. Got it? Yep. I like how his response to being asked if he was flirting was to go oh. game's just fucking with me oh that sucks rocket did i go down here i did that's the library so Ah, cool, Cyborg. Lists are very, very handy when you're setting stuff like that up. Um, I should have really made a list of the things that I've adjusted on mine. Um, okay, so we should... I love Winslow. Um, Mr. Winslow? Yes, Captain? We should be able to go... to... How's the mast holding up? Um, Flot's Island again now. Well. Embrace her, Captain. Let the screaming narwhal know how much you care. I'm not hugging the mast. Ah, <laughs> in time, you will come to love her as your second wife. Uh, I don't think Elaine is into that. You'll never know unless you ask. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. <laughs> <laughs> Winslow is a fucking treasure. <laughs> Mr. Winslow, boat fucker. Well, whatever, um, Floats your boat, I guess. <laughs> uh... Well, I met some merfolk. And uh, did you find <laughs> the lovely mermaid lass you were looking for? I'm not sure. I can't tell the men from the women. <laughs> well, just don't go kissing them all. I found that out the hard way. <laughs> He's great. He's great. And I like to take the approach with the Vecalians that they are essentially genderless. I feel like can't tell the men from the women is a plus. Yeah. Vecalians are NB goals. A gender is best gender. Winslow has plundered that booty. Imagine the splinters. Oh my god, Torpo. Well, only if uh, you don't take proper care of uh, of your wood. Oh my god. <clears throat> Can't believe I just said that. Where are we headed? Nowhere yet, sir. As soon as you point out a location on the map, we can set sail. There is no best gender. We are all equally fucking based, comrade. Nicely put, Ash. Keep up the good work. Aye, aye, sir. Brings a whole new meaning to pegging. Prepare 
Oh dear. Uh, okay, so we should be able to go to Flotsam Island now. Oh, okay. No. We still can't. Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Just go back to Jerkbait. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. But we fixed the mast, so that's one thing sorted. And we'll take the little raft. You know, the little lady's locket looks awfully worn around the edges. I wonder if it has another use. I hope it has uh, for a ride. See, I have been doing things other than what it wants me to do for long enough that Guybrush decided to give me a hint. Hello there. Hey, Pix, how you doing? Okay. So let's go and look for the use for the locket. I'm guessing it's actually on the other island, thinking about it. Because, you know, that's where the rest of his stuff is. On the little island. Bro Island, that's the one. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. How did I miss that before? piece of paper in the mouth of a toy. Fix the mast. Now time to fix the geopolitical situation on Joe Bait Island. Indeed. So we've got some blank paper. Can we use the conveniently kept from the last episode? Little red thing. There is to, something no. written here, but it's too tiny to make it out. Magnifying lens. Sounds like a big red magnifying glass. Uh -huh. Looks like DeCava wrote down the name of a book. 101 Fish Jokes. I wonder if it's a biography. Okay. Poems no one wants to read. Wow, Guybrush. That's mean. They're all animal matchmaking, which means that that book is still at the library. We go back to the library and talk to the librarian. Sorted. Oh, he is going. Oh, um, for those that were here for the first part of this playthrough and the unboxing that I did beforehand, I managed to find on the cheap on Amazon um, a set of five picture frames um, that were the exact right size for the posters. Uh, so all of my Monkey Island posters are now framed so that they'll be nice and protected. And I've just got to find somewhere to hang them up around the house so that I can show them off to everybody. Not that anybody comes over other than mum. <laughs> Though I'm sure mum will appreciate them. Uh, but yeah. I'm very, very excited about finding a nice home for them and I'll put a picture up on Twitter um, when I finally hang them up. I was so chuffed though because I thought the, the picture frames were going to be super expensive but they, for the five of them it only came to like 20 quid which is really good for picture frames. Um, I say looking at the amount of things I've had to buy picture frames for on my wall. Poems no one wants to read. Is that Oscar Wilde? Everyone wants... Uh, to posture about reading him, but no one ever fucking has. I have, Ash! I really like Oscar Wilde's work. Some of his essays are really funny. <laughs> and his letters. I've, I've got a fair bit of his stuff. Um, I started like most people do when they've actually read Wilde with uh, the portrait of Dorian Gray, though. You know, I would like a book from the library. I knew you would. What can I get for you? 101 fish jokes. 
Oh, I love the Happy Prince as well, Torpor. My ancestors have worked for centuries to gather these treasures of knowledge and preserve them within these walls so that our race will long be respected for our intellectual achievements. And you want fish jokes? Yep. <sighs> Fine. Really, Ash? This ought to enrich your understanding of the Haven't actually literature. read the Canterville Ghost, Torpor. Um, he did, um... I hate you. Oh, gosh, what was it called? So the portrait of Dorian Gray was the first one of his I actually read. But when I was very small, uh, my parents had a lot of, like, story time tapes. Um... <laughs> Fair. Um... And there was one of his uh, children's stories on there, oh, on one of them, uh, but I can't remember what it was called. And I didn't find out until I was older that it was actually an Oscar Wilde story. Um, I've yet to read any Wilde, I am not a true Irishman. You are a perfectly fine true Irishman, Pudlord. Just because you've not read any wild doesn't mean that you're not. You see, I started reading wild because the stories interested me. I didn't find out until much later how important he is in terms of gay cred, as you put it. I, he was a very talented writer. Mer person? Cool your fins. Damn. Honestly, I don't know if um, Anemone wants to date Guybrush or wear him like a suit. I didn't even look at the book. I'm just gonna... Both. Both is bad. Fish jokes. First hey, one, then the other. On in here. Yay! Why did the fish need an aspirin? He had a haddock. And not in the order you stated. Ruh -ruh. Selfish Giant, that's the one. Thank you, Torpor. Yes, Selfish Giant. That was the one that I had on tape as a kid. And I love that story so much. I wonder if there's anything else in there other than... Let's. I guess not. Just the coupon. Let's go get some worms. And I always forget about the Nightingale and the Rose being one of his as well. He wrote so many really good stories. Like, I know Dorian Gray is technically the most um, famous of his works, but so many... I'm dumbly. I'd like some bait, please. Sure. You got your coupon? Yes, I do. Great, hand it over. Oh, okay. Fine. Here you go, Emily. I've got a coupon here for something called Gozanos de Destino. <laughs> Kybrush B dragging his ass across the floor. I'm not even sure I still carry this stuff. Wait here. I need to check in the back. Found some. It was all the way in the back behind the monkey fingers. It's even still glowing. Ew. Okay, so we got some spooky glowing worms. 
and some fish eggs. Spooky, indeed, Ash. Looking for a ride? Not the kind you're offering. Uh, okay. That does that actually look disgusting. Indeed, uh, Torpor. We've got two different kinds of bait, in fact, so. Yeah, it's adorable, isn't it? Ash. They're very pretty. I love stuff like that. No, no, we actually need to go to the raft. Uh... Ah, it's gone now, Tids. On the plus side, you weren't take it, uh, you didn't have any points taken off of you for it. Um, I have, however, added, um, a new, uh, channel point redemption, which may be of interest to you tids. Because I know I said, uh, on a stream last week? the week before no that's the wrong way um that uh, if i hit a certain amount of followers on twitter uh, i would do a, an uwu voice reading uh but that is never going to happen cuz uh i'm actually i'm actually hemorrhaging followers uh on twitter at the moment so uh I figured I'd go for the middle ground and give you folks a uh, point redemption, seeing as you're so desperate to make me use that voice. Um, and once I've set it up properly, ah, here it is. Um, once I've set it up properly. Mm, they leave Ash. It's a thing that happens. It doesn't really bother me, to be honest with you, because most of the people that follow me on Twitter don't watch the streams anyway. Um, I'm going to use this stuff first. Uh, possibly tids. Oh. Fair point. Well made. Can't do that. Okay, uh... Because it's got a hooked end. That's what I'm thinking. No, nope. okay. In the bucket. I don't want it to fit in the bucket. Nope. <laughs> Do we just put the bait on the hook? Yeah, we would just put the bait on the hook. I was tr I was being too fancy about it. Oh, I got a bite. That well oh, looks way too deep for that to have worked. Shoot. It looks like this bucket has a lot of tiny holes in it. The water would leak right out. Um. Um. Oh shit, no, because I've got to combine it, don't I? Hey, I think I feel a nibble. Come a little closer. Gotcha. Uh oh. Yeah, fair play, Ash. Everybody's different. But yeah, it, it doesn't really bother me. But what did bother me 
Why do people keep ending up upside down in this game? <laughs> and stuck in things. There we go. We've got one artifact. Uh, and I've just realised what the time is. Do, do you folks want me to carry on for a bit? Or... Um... He did indeed, Pudlord. <laughs> Yeah? Okay. So they've buried the other artifact. Oh goody. What are you guys still doing here? Just by not Keep going if you wish to. Okay. You know, I hear that nine times out of ten, the first place you bury your treasure is the spot where it'll most likely be found. What do you mean? Well, if you picked out that spot so easily, other pirates will probably pick that spot to go digging for treasure too. Uh, we need to I'd go with Monarch, and think of Ash, else to hide it. because Good could, thinking, Come on, could be either, and also uh, it's kind of butterfly. We like it a butterfly here. Also, they just called me Hooky. That's like super pirate ableist, and we're we're not yeah, about that here. figure really well, I've never actually seen one in person hey, get your grubby mix away from <laughs> <our> chest. <laughs> but it's empty sorry I'm just fascinated by your chest excuse me do I have to get out the pirate harassment handbook maybe I'll just leave you alone there's nothing there sorry it was probably just a weather balloon <sighs> See, the reason I think this is a really good spiritual successor to the original Monkey Island games is because the writing is so pitch perfect at moments like that. Okie dokie, Ash. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think Monarch works. I'm I'm down with Monarch as a uh, non-binary um, ruler title or ruler, I guess. But then you know I could just be a, a long stick of plastic. Or wood. Uh, I wonder. Hey, you guys! I'm back. Oh, goody. oh, the um, the pirate harassment handbook. No, I don't think it is, Cypher. Long stick of plastic is my middle name. It's not. It's Jose. Jose is a good name. Uh, <laughs> three headed gold seahorse. Okay, so I'm sorry, little guy brush. Hey, what are you doing? Trying to loot our treasure chest? Of course not. It's hard to loot a chest full of nothing. You just keep your hands off my chest. Not a problem. In fact, I can guarantee I won't be touching a single part of your body. Oh, I must have missed it. Too bad. It was glorious. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back. Oh goody. So I think I hear McGillicuddy. Ah, let's go. Hurry. Good and buried. Not the brightest tools in the shed. No, they are not. And oh yeah, I I can't 
click to walk. I keep forgetting I can't click to walk. So we are gonna go back to Spinnake and then we are going to go to the two little islands because it'll be on one of the two little islands. And we are going to use our beautiful voice to figure out where it is. Welcome back, sir. Prepare to set sail. I do love Winslow. He's my favourite thing about the uh, Poker Night games as well. Though I also really love Ash in uh, the second Poker Night game. Oh, that's awesome, Cyborg. Okay, let's go to... Let's try the Isle of You first. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> can't just dig randomly. Mm. Oh! Shit. <sighs> the parrot's back in my pocket. I genuinely thought it was in the chest. That plan scuppered. Oh, of course. Um, Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Where to, Captain? I'm the spirit of Ash. Fair. Um, yeah. Um, Ash, as in Evil Dead Ash, is in the second Poker Night uh, game, uh, and. Is absolutely fab. I am a big Bruce Campbell fan. He is Bruce Campbell in everything he's in, and I love that. Um, but he's he's the best thing about Burn Notice, in my opinion. I wish he was my dad, but don't we all? Mm, my dad was all right, but like, if Bruce Campbell was my uncle or something, yeah, that'd be cool. Okay. Looking for a ride? Guys, I'm back. Oh, goody. Still here? Yep. So you guys are sure you buried the chest in a safe place this time? Yeah. So Good what I was job. thinking... Oh, now you got me paranoid! Why do we have... Yo, it'd be backwards Barry, time. with pegs for arms and hooks for legs. Treasure without bringing it back to where you started. And we certainly don't need no more bad luck. Yeah, sorry about that. You know, the, the, the whole pox thing? Yeah, sorry. Bit awkward. Okay. Um. I wonder. Nah. Nope. Hey, you guys. I'm back. Oh, goody. What are you guys arguing about again? Merkel won't give me the artifact so I can decide where to bury it. Merkel, is this true? Of course it is. Now put off. Oh, I'm afraid I don't know that meme, Ash. Or if I do, I don't recognise it at this particular point in time. Well, I think I've taken up enough of your time. Good luck with the treasure and all. Yeah. 
Okay. No, I must be missing something in the conversation. So let's have a, another conversation with them, see if I can figure it out from there. Maybe there's a fair way to determine who gets to bury the artifact. Yeah, maybe. Ah, I see, Ash. What do you suggest? Yeah, I'm I'm very out of the loop on anything, uh, Yogg's cast, I'm afraid. How about a breath holding contest? First one to breathe for air loses. I like where you're going with that, but no. With me asthma, it wouldn't be a fair contest. Well, then I win by default. No, no fuck off. I still got the seahorse. That makes you a loser by default. Maybe you guys should try cooperating again. Fine. Got any more bright ideas? Cool, thanks Ash. I'll uh, take a look after the stream. You could try guessing a number. Whoever answers right gets to bury it. That sounds reasonable. I'll start. Pick what number I'm thinking of. Mmm, 27. Nope. Okay, now you pick a number. 42. Wrong. Wait a minute. How do I know you ain't lying? Me? What about you? Okay, this ain't gonna work. Forget it. Okay, that was a no. Hmm. I feel like the distraction Maybe is a really important thing, but I can't figure out what I'm supposed to do with the chest. Uh, we'll, tr we'll try the other two cooperation options. If nothing else, we get a fun conversation out of it. Yeah, it's so simple. <laughs> His face. That's proper stink eye. Uh Look, defenseless babies with piles of gold. Ooh, where? 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 Can I put the parrot in the chest now? Bon voyage. Did you say something? Not me. There we go. Maybe it was Captain McGillicuddy. Neptune's beard. If he sees we haven't buried this chest yet, I had the right idea. Just had to get them to look away in a different direction. So close. So close last time. She's missing one step. Well, that's that. Done and buried. Okay, now we can go to the little islands. It's a process. Yeah. I'm just glad I had the right idea, you know? I mean, again, it's been, what, 11 years? Is that right? Yeah, it's been... A, it's been... 12 years, actually, maybe, since I played this. So, I'll take any win I can get in that. Let's tr let's try Boulder Beach first this time. Thanks, Tits. And hey, look, Old's working again now. Even as small as these islands are, I wouldn't want to just dig randomly in the hopes of finding buried treasure. I'd be island hopping for years. 
Okay, so it's not on this one. Ah. Out of the way, men. Menu, stop it. There we go. Well, I'm done here. Back to the narwhal. Good to have you back, Captain. Where will we be heading next, Captain? I love you. Aye, aye, sir. Hello? Anyone here? I can't just dig randomly. Murray? <laughs> That's a fair point, actually. We have our first Murray. Um, if anyone wants to put some Murrays in chat, I would welcome them. Um, Junky. Still no sign of the parrot. Where the fuck have they hidden it? Well, I'm done here. Back to the narwhal. Hello there. Hey, Far Bubbler, how you doing? Welcome back, sir. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Where to, Captain? No, I'm avoiding that place. <laughs> He hates the Rock of Gelato now. I guess it's on the other... Um... I guess it must be on here somewhere. But why would they bury it here? Hi, lemonade. Shit. Hello, I caught Anemone as she popped up instead of the damn raft then. I gotta run. Uh, no offence. Okie dokie, Cypher. You take care. Enjoy your nap. Okay, okay, okay. So, it doesn't appear to be on Spoon Isle. Must be on Row Island. But... Yep, it's stuff. No. Don't tell me it's back in my pocket again. No, it's not. Okay. Thank fuck for that. Have they buried it on the island? They have, have they just buried it on the island they were on? Have I been wandering around aimlessly, hoping to hear my parrot, when it's been here the whole time? God, I hope not. This is the uh, fifth instalment in the Monkey Island series. Fifth and last at the moment of our bubbler. Uh, it's made by Telltale. It's a five part episodic series. Uh, this is part two. Okay, I can't hear it anywhere, so... I don't think it is here. Or if it is... Is it in the dead end? I guess not. I am at a loss as to where the bloody thing might be then. Because we've not heard a peep out of the parrot. You know what? Let's go back to the entrance. I'm flummoxed. I 
I mean, I've clearly done the right thing, because otherwise it wouldn't have let me do it, and it wouldn't have had the special um, altered cutscene. But... Ah, don't worry about it, Ash. I mean, if push comes to shove, I'll just buzz up a guide. But I just... I've just noticed the fucking merman at the bottom of the map. Motherfucker, I didn't even see that. Thank you, Tids. Thank you. I am so fucking blind when I'm streaming. I just don't notice this shit at all. Merman looks like Johnny Bravo. It kind of does, doesn't it? Thank you, Tids. Very, very much appreciated. Even as small as these islands are, I wouldn't want to just dig randomly in the hopes of finding buried treasure. I'd be island hopping for years. Yes, we know that, Guybrush. There we go. There you are, little parrot. I'll have you dug up in a second. Creepy. It sounds like I've been buried alive. Again. And I think once is enough for a lifetime. Oh yeah, that's a reference to a previous game as well, isn't it? Take that, poxy pirates. Never underestimate the treasure finding skills of Guybrush Street. Uh, it's me, Guybrush Street Boy. Why do you Oh, shut up already. <laughs> okay, so we've got two of the three artifacts. Crib. Crib, 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 crib. Box crib. My petite murderess. Where is the puny pirate and his superbly sickly hat? Right here. Oh, and what a glorious battle it was. Guybrush was amazing. You should have seen the way he... Fangirl. No, 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 this will not do. I need all of Monsieur Sripwood. That was not our agreement. I think you'd better give me my gold now. Oui, oui, of course. Ah, but I have discovered that Sripwood himself is very special. I need his body for my experiment. I'll pay you double to bring him back to me alive. Make it triple. I'll make it quadruple. Once I have extracted his essence and perfected my elixir, the world will offer me all of the treasures in exchange. Now go, mademoiselle. Go like the winds of Flotsam and bring me my perfectly profitable pirate prize. Okay, let's uh, let's head back to um. Come on, brain. Captain, where will we be heading next, Captain? Yep, Bud Lord. We'll head back to Jerk, mate. Um, and then I think I'll finish the stream up there, seeing as we've had that cutscene now. Uh, cause the only artifact left is the one that the chieftains got, and I think that requires some amount of like conversation and I'm suddenly very hungry so I'm gonna go get some food <laughs> um, yeah thank you so much for coming along today folks oh give me a sec while I stretch Ugh. more up a little bit yeah thank you so much for coming along today I hope you've had a good time um, I hope you're enjoying Tales of Monkey Island as much as I am you digest um goodbye if anybody wants to enter the giveaway for a copy of hue which is a uh color based puzzle game if i'm not mistaken platformer perhaps um you have five four exclamation mark ticket to enter three two one little bit for the lag. Did anybody enter today? Nobody entered today. 
I would, but I already have it. Fair play, Tids. Okay. Then Hugh will go back into the pile for another day. I've already won Hugh from you. Ah, uh, yeah, I've got quite a few codes for a couple of games. I'm actually thinking, now that I've got a, a fancier giveaway tool, um, I might do a couple of sort of big giveaways where I give away multiple codes for the same game in the same stream. Uh, but the Hugh one was one that was left over. So, giveaway is closed. Nobody entered. Nobody wins. Um... But yeah, so I've had a really good time today and I hope you all have too. And my Bar Raider app is still not working properly. What the heck? Um, I use uh, uh, an extra little bot that tells me uh, who of my followers, uh, who that I'm following even, is live at any given point uh, so that I can raid them. And it's broken. So, I have to do this the old fashioned way. Let's see who we've got. Ooh. Let's go from one mighty pirate to another. Uh, we'll raid Pirate King Rent. Uh, so Rent is a good bean, lovely lad. Uh, he's currently playing old school RuneScape. Um, so I will be back on Wednesday with some hobby happy hour, uh, and I'll be finishing off Porthos Squig, who folks may remember from the last hobby happy hour. Uh, so hopefully I'll see you all then. Um, and as always, until I do see you next, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. If you want to avoid catching the pox of LeChuck, wash your fucking hands and have a great weekend, everybody. Bye.